Sony Picture Studio. This is Jeopardy. And we're going to continue this 6 and one special with the game of Jeopardy for the PlayStation 2. Thanks, Johnny. Time for another exciting game of Jeopardy. So have fun and go on. Thank you. That's right, Mikey. Here we go. First round categories are as follows. We have classical music. Classical music. We've got rhyme time. Rhyme time. Got the L you say, E L in quotation marks. We have World War Two. World War Two. We'll follow it up with on the go. On the go. And finally. And. We have the movies. The movies. All right, let's get things underway, player one. The movies for 200. Here's the naked truth. This full 1997 film is the highest grossing British movie in history. What is the full money? That's it. The movie's for 400. Of Carousel, Roller Coaster, or Midway, the film that featured a very young Helen Hunt. What is Midway? No? Not Midway? Then I'll say what is Carousel. Okay, it's not carousel, so I'll say what is roller coaster. Correct. Again. The movie's for six hundred. He directed Wild Strawberries. Not sure. Everybody. Who is Ingmar Bergman? Exactly. Oh, Ingmar Bergman. Okay. Player two, you choose. Let's try rhyme time for two hundred. The purple teletubby. Who is Tinky Winky? Well, Tinky Winky is a Tinky Winky. <laughs> Over to you, please. Rhyme time for 400. Colorful 1986 number one album by Madonna. What is True Blue? Well done, yes. Oh, True Blue. Player two, you choose. The L, you say, for 200. In area, it's the smallest Central American country. What is El Salvador? You are. I'll take uh, the L you say for 400. Player one, your turn. Marty Robbins went to number one with a song about this town and won a Grammy for it in 1960. What is El Paso? Right. Uh, the L you say for 600? The orangutans on Borneo are in peril due to drought and fires blamed on this weather phenomenon. What is El Nino? The L, you say, 800. In the 1540s, German adventurer Philip von Houten searched South America for this fatal city. What is El Dorado? Hey, you're correct. The L, you say, for 1,000. He captured Valencia in 1094 and ruled it until his death on July 10th, 1099. Who is El Cid? The movie's for 800. This sister of Francis Ford Coppola appeared in all of his Godfather films. Oh, what's her name? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try something here. Sister, uh... No, not Nadia. Okay, the sister of Francis Ford Coppola. It's not Nadia. Uh, what is her name? 
I'll just say who is Talia Shire? Yes. Oh wow, I got it. The movie's for a thousand. Kirk Douglas played the gentleman caller in the film version of this Tennessee Williams play. What is the Glass Menagerie? Rhyme time, 600, please. Answer. And I got the daily double. Player one, please make your wager. Let's bet it all. Okay, here's the clue. It's Ben and Jerry's banana ice cream with walnuts and pieces of dark chocolate. What is wavy gravy? No? Ben and Jerry's banana ice cream with walnuts and pieces of dark chocolate. What is the Michael Biden special? <laughs> I was thinking wavy gravy, but that's not it. Or, or, or maybe, maybe, what is Chunky Monkey? Chunky Monkey. Correct. Oh, thank God. Round time 800. And that was a good answer, by the way, Eugene. What is hodgepodge? Right, you are. Hodgepodge, okay. Player two, it's your turn. On the go for 200. In 1783, two Frenchmen became the first to get a rise out of this hot Montgolfier invention. What is a hot air balloon? I'll take, uh, on the go for 400. Player one, it's your turn. Names of these space vehicles have included Discovery and Challenger. What are space shuttles? Hey, you got it. Uh, on the go for 600, please. The RR logo on this automaker's radiator plate changed from red to black in 1933 after one of the founders died. What is Rolls Royce? Yes, indeed. On the go for 800. Models of this U.S. motorcycle company have included the Hyperglide, Electroglide, and Superglide. What is Harley Davidson? Uh, on the go for 1,000. Eskimos traditionally use uniacs, as well as these other native open boating vessels. What are kayaks? Right. Pick again. I'd like to go with rhyme time for a grand. A weapon like a taser that fires electric darts to temporarily incapacitate a person. What is a stun gun? Right you are. Classical music for 200. In one of his tales in an Offenbach opera, this poet is in love with a mechanical doll named Olympia. Who is Hoffman? You bet. Oh, Hoffman. Okay, I was thinking Chaucer for some reason. Player two, it's your turn. Classical music for 400. He wrote four overtures for Fidelio, the most popular being Lenore Overture number three. Who is Ludwig van Beethoven? Right you are. Ah. Player three, your turn. World War II for 200. The U.S. stationed its Pacific fleet in this harbor during the war. What is the Pearl Harbor? Yes. I'll take World War II for 400. Player one, what'll it be now? Important battles in this country included those at Anzio, Casino, and 
Salerno. What is Italy? Right. Pick again. World War Two Six Hundred. With twelve kills, Lydia Litvak was this country's top woman ace of World War Two. I said it was Russia. Right. World War Two Eight Hundred. What is Omaha Beach? That's it. World War II for a thousand. In early 1945, 6,800 Marines were killed while seizing Mount Suramachi and the rest of this island. What is Iwo Jima? Correct. Classical music for 600. Frederick Chopin. 800. Player one, you're still in control of the board. This composer's 1868 work, Wiegenlied, is better known to us as Lullaby. Who is Brahms? Well done, yes. The final answer on this board is... Joseph Haydn based this 1798 oratorio on the Bible and Milton's Paradise Lost. What is the creation? Right. And at the end of the Jeopardy round, I'm in the lead with $19,000. All right, that brings us to the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's see how our players are doing. No question about it. You're hot stuff, player one. Okay, let's get to the double jeopardy round. Let's. Let's see if you like these categories in the double jeopardy round. We have movie monsters. Movie monsters. There's a lot of them. We got four letter words. Four letter words. We have Around the World. Around the World. We'll follow it up with Books and Authors. Books and Authors. The fifth category is You Only Live Twice. You Only Live Twice. And finally, and we're going to deal with Who Said It. Who Said It. All right, let's see if these categories are going to be to my liking. You have the honors, player three. Books and authors for 400. This Leon Uris book shares its name with the second book of the Bible. What is Exodus? Exactly. Books and authors for 800. Player one, your turn. With Pandora, this author seen here began a new series of vampire tales. Okay, here's the clue. It looks like Anne Rice, so I'm going to say who's Anne Rice. Correct. What's an author's 1200? In 1997, this author returned to his roots with Wobegon Boy. Who's Alex Haley? It's not Alex Haley. This is what we want. Garrison Keeler. Garrison Keeler. Books and authors for 1600. He wrote The Hunt for Red October. Who is Tom Clancy? Very good. Uh, books and authors for 2000. I got the Daily Double, one of the two. Player one, please make your wager now. Mmm, 4,400. Okay, here's... Sherlock Holmes was his creation. Who's Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? Very good. You 
<laughs> Around the World 400. Hungary's main mineral resource is bauxite, the ore that yields this easily foiled metal. What is aluminum? Regrettable. Oh, nope. just aluminum. I meant didn't hit me hit foil. What is aluminum? Very good. Derp. Oh well. Layer three, your turn. Around the world for 800. In 1934 and 1935, history's longest march covered 6,000 miles, 18 <laughs> ranges, and 24 rivers <laughs> in this Asian... What is China? Right you are. Uh, around the world for 12. Layer one, what'll it be now? In this Canadian province, Medicine Hat and Calgary hold annual stampede. What is Alberta? Precisely. Around the world, 1600. Gay surprise. Yo-Yo Ma and Kathy Gifford were both born in this French city. What is Paris? Um, 2000. The Mitad del Mundo, Middle of the Earth Monument, is near Quito in this South American country. What is Ecuador? That put me over $30,000. Very good. You pick again. Four-letter words, 400. It's a song of praise, like Rock of Ages. What is a hymn? Four letter words, 800. Take off the top, or milk from which the cream has been removed. What a skim. Correct. Four letter words for 1,200. It's the edge of a hat, or the topmost edge of a cup or bowl. What's a brim? Four letter words for 1600. An arm or leg. What is a limb? Oh, that's right. Correct. Layer three, you choose. Who said it for 400? An actor. Everybody wants to be Cary Grant. Even I want to be Cary Grant. Who is Cary Grant? You bet. Uh, let's finish uh, for the words 2001. You choose. Gloomy and forbidding like a certain reaper. What is grim? Correct. Pick again. Who said it 800? A baseball legend. It ain't over till it's over. Who's Yogi Berra? Who said it, 1,200? A newspaper publisher. You furnish the pictures and I'll furnish the war. Who is William Randolph Hearst? Precisely. Who said it, 1,600? A comedian. My forefathers didn't come over on the Mayflower. But they met the boat. It was Will Rogers? Right. Pick again. Uh, who said it for 2000, please? An early sex symbol. Between two evils, I always pick the one I've never tried before. It was Mae West. Precisely. Again. Movie monsters for 400. Footage of Raymond Burr was added to this 1954 Japanese classic about a big lizard. What is Godzilla? Or who is Godzilla?
Very good. Movie Here monsters for eight hundred. A documentary film crew in the Amazon encounters a giant snake in this nineteen ninety seven film. What is Anaconda? Right, pick again. Movie monsters for twelve hundred? In 1958, Steve McQueen played a teenager being chased by this giant amoeba-like mass. What is the blob? Oh, nope, no, not, not the blood. I meant to put the blob. Shoot. What is the blob? Very good. That's what I meant to put. Player three, it's your turn. Twice for I hit the end button too soon. In one past life, this actress was a son. The princess. Are you sure the bot is not Ducky Funky's period? <laughs> uh, who is? I'd say it was Jane Fonda. No, it's not Jane Fonda. Who is Shirley Temple Black? No. Ingrid Bergman, maybe? I, I I don't know. In one past life, this actress was a sauna, the princess of the elephants. I don't know. No, that's not right. Sorry. Who is Shirley MacLaine? It's Shirley okay. MacLaine. Oh, derp. Player two, you choose. You only live twice or 800. Some take this psychological phenomenon, French for already seen, as evidence of reading. What is deja vu? Yes. Uh, movie monsters for sixteen hundred. Player one, it's your turn. In nineteen thirty-five, Elsa Lanchester played this doctor's hair-raising second woman and was meant to wed the. Who is Frankenstein? Very good. You pick again. Answer Neither daily double. double. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino wound up in a bar full of these creatures in 1996's From Dusk Till Dawn. Or bats? No, too bad. Oh, no. Vampires. This is the correct question. I bet it's vampires. Yeah. Oh, well. Still a big lead. This religion, founded by L. Ron Hubbard, includes engrams, negative images from past lives. What is Christian science? No, and I am sorry. Now that was founded by Mary Baker Eddy. What is Scientology? Correct. Player two, it's your turn. You only live twice for 1,600. In Plato's dialogue, Phaedrus, this Greek philosopher discourses on the rebirth of the soul. Who is Socrates? Hey, you're correct. Now, to complete this round, followers of this ancient triangle theorem philosopher also spread his ideas about reincarnation. Who is Pythagoras? You bet. I finished with $37,200. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores, shall we? Yeah. You're number one, player one. Congratulations. It's that time, folks. Final Jeopardy. We're going to take a look at the category, then we'll give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Television. Go ahead, make your wager. 12 8.
final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. A 1997 episode of this CBS action series guest starred Philip Michael Thomas and Tommy Chong. I'll tell you what his Nash Bridge is. Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player three, was... What is Nash Bridges? Quite the gamble, player three, but it was worth it, wasn't it? Good for you. Player two, what was your question? Ooh, let's see what that will cost you. You can't win them all, can you? Player one, your question was? In a word, yes. And the wager was? And I finished the game with $50,000. Great effort, everyone. What a game. Put your hands together for our big winner today, player one. And then I'll wrap it up for this segment. We'll see you all for the next one in just a little bit. Hope to see you again for our next game of Jeopardy.